All week long, we've been focusing on incorporating Hawaiian values and lessons into distance learning. Today, we hear from two Kumu who have a very unique way about teaching about measurements in early education. We're continuing our conversation with various Kumu from Kamehameha schools and what they are teaching during distance learning. Today's focus is on units of measurements and using mele or song to teach. Joining me, two Kumu, Kaina Ishimine from Kohala and Piikea Kihe of Waimea. Thank you guys so much for, for being with me and I'm going to have you guys on screen with me now. I wanna just uh, ask you guys first off, how has distance learning been for you guys? Well, first, mahalo, John, for having us. Um, one of the great key things that I find for my classroom, especially out in Kohala, where it's a little rural, um, we've actually kind of been implementing a hybrid classroom environment where some of the activities are online but can also be given and done in an outdoor setting off of the internet. That's been one of the highlights and it's been great to see how our students have adapted and our Ohana have adapted quickly from just in classroom learning environment to now being at home. Kiko, 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 ola, pia, pia, I really love the way you guys are using your body, your arms, your, your, your fingertips to teach. Can you tell us about what the melee and the video clip that I got a chance to watch, what the keiki are learning in that video? Sure, Aloha John. Our, um, the mele is entitled Kemele Anana, and it talks about the different measurements used um, using our body to explain to the keiki that their kino um, has different measurements as well as our kino, and um, it helps them to make connections to the things that are around them and um, it definitely helps them to see how our kupuna saw things and how our kupuna used these simple measurements in their daily activities and in their daily lifestyles. Why do you guys think that teaching this way is, is so important? I think especially Kiki at this age, yeah, they're, they're ma'a or they're used to things that they can touch, they can feel, they can smell, so a lot of sensorial. So when they measure using their own kino, um, their own body, and they use um, these terms or these um, units of measurement, they can make a deeper connection to the world around them. And tapping on to Piika and her um, focus on sensorial, when the keiki observes something, they're using their eyes. When they're able to describe something, they're using their words. And with using their body as a measurement or a tool to measure, it solidifies because it has their own personal limbs, their extremities that they can measure with. What about Hawaiian culture? How have you guys been able to integrate learning Hawaiian culture into some of the activities or plans that you guys have for them? One of the many things we do for our online classroom is we start with mele. The mele was actually taught inside of the classroom before we transition to um, online learning or hybrid learning, whichever one it is. And the way we start introducing Hawaiian culture is through mele, of course, but also through stories, especially through stories like Kamehameha Ekahi Paiea, um, stories of how our kupuna lived through the ahukua'a. And it's something our keiki can connect to, especially here on Hawaii Island and Kohala. Kamehameha Paiea is from Kohala. Um, a lot of his formative years where our keiki are at now we experienced a lot of that in Kohala. So it's easier to connect Hawaiian culture with land-based education. And now that they know that, we put it online and have them come to us with what they find significant in their environment. You guys have a place online for Ohana families to be able to go and, and learn uh, with some of these resources. Can you tell me where that's at? 
some of our resources that we've been using is from Kamehameha Publishing. You can visit that online. Um, Kanai Okana is a very good place for resources. Also, our other partnerships here with Ahapunana Leo, they have a lot of good things coming through and we mahalo them. But also check with your teacher and their seesaw classroom that yes, is happening. And of course, you can catch the entire video, Units of Measurements, on our Living 808 page on KHON2.com. Thank you guys so much for being with me on Living 808. Mahalo. 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 Who's your hubby? My Ohana. What a great way of doing that. And we'll continue looking at these Hawaiian values, doing everything from ahupu uh, yoga and looking at the concept of learning centers, especially to help us through distance learning. Uh, oh, having Clifford. success at home. And you can watch all those segments we've done, by the way, at KHON2.com.